Signing Exact English C2, sometimes signed Exact English, is a system of manual communication that strives to be an exact representation of English vocabulary and grammar. It is one of a number of such systems in use in English-speaking countries. It is related to Seeing Essential English CI, a manual sign system created in 1971, based on the morphemes of English words. C2 models much of its sign vocabulary from American Sign Language ASL, but modifies the handshapes used in ASL in order to use the handshape of the first letter of the corresponding English word. The four components of signs are handshape, static or dynamic, orientation, the direction of the palm, location, where the sign is performed relative to the body, and movement, trajectory shape, trajectory size, direction of motion, and planar orientation. C2 is not considered a language itself like ASL, rather it is an invented system for a language, namely, for English. History before 1970, children who were deaf had access to oral only educations, where teachers and other adults did not use sign in the classroom. Around the early 1970s, sign began to be used more as an educational tool in total communication classrooms. ASL had only recently been recognized as a language and forms of manually coded English had just been invented. Three main reasons served as grounds for the invention of manually coded English, signing exact English, C, in particular. At the time, there was dissatisfaction with the levels of educational achievement of deaf children, as difficulties with syntax and morphology were impacting their writing skills. In addition, a discrepancy between hearing and deaf children in regards to knowledge of normal language development was noted. Lastly, concerns rose in regards to speech reading and the ambiguities of relying solely on speech reading. With growing concern over the low levels of literacy and other academic skills attained by the majority of deaf students, manually coded sign systems began to develop. The first manual English system, CI, was developed by David Anthony, a deaf teacher, with input from other deaf educators as well as parents of deaf children. This is known today as the Morphemic Sign Systems, MSS. This system was viewed as inadequate by other members of Anthony's team and Gerilee Gustafson, a deaf woman and deaf educator, along with other members of the original CI team developed C2. C2 was devised to give deaf and hard-of-hearing children the same English communicative potential as their typically hearing peers. First published in 1972 by Gustafson, Fetzing, and Zawalkow, C2 matches visual signs with the grammatical structure of English. Unlike ASL, which has its own unique grammar system, C2 is an exact visual model of spoken English and allows children with hearing loss to access grammatically correct English, just as all hearing children receive in educational settings. C employs English word order, the addition of affixes and tenses, the creation of new signs not represented in ASL and the use of initials with base signs to distinguish from English synonyms. C2 is available in books and other materials. C2 includes roughly 4,000 signs, 70 of which are common word endings or markers. In comparison to signed English, C2 involves more advanced motoric and cognitive functions. Handshapes Handshapes are one of the four components of a sign and convey a large amount of information about each sign. The two types of signs are static and dynamic. Dynamic signs involve hand movement and the handshape can remain the same or can change from one handshape to another. Usually only the handshapes at the start and end of a dynamic sign are important to understanding the meaning of each sign. There have been about 30 to 40 handshapes defined in C and they have many similarities to those of ASL. C2 versus ASL handshapes ASL is a complete, unique language meaning that it not only has its own vocabulary but its own grammar that differs from spoken English. C2 is not a separate language but rather a system to communicate in English through signs and fingerspelling. The vocabulary of C2 is a combination of ASL signs, modified ASL signs, or unique English signs. The reason C2 signs vary from ASL is to add clarity so that the exact English word meant for the conversation is understood. For example the sign for car in ASL is two A hands gesturing as if they are holding onto and moving a steering wheel. This is the same sign used for any automobile controlled by a steering wheel. 
In C2. Car. Is signed by two C hands, one on top of the other, moving away from each other. To specify another vehicle, the hand shape is modified to include the first initial of the type of vehicle, e.g., V for van, B for bus, J for jeep, etc. This is called an initialized sign. The meaning of the sign is clarified by initializing the sign with the first letter of the intended English word. This allows the signer to specify exactly what they want to communicate in English. Uses Because C2 is a manual version of spoken English, C2 and its variants may be easy for English speakers to learn. Currently, the average deaf or hard-of-hearing student graduating from high school reads at approximately the third or fourth grade level. C2 has been used in hopes of promoting reading skills in deaf students. Children who grew up on C2 are now in their 20s and 30s and members of the deaf community. A small survey of 46 former students of a school in the Northwest that uses C indicated that many graduated high school and attended college. Many graduate college and obtained jobs, live independently 78.8%, drive 93.3%, and vote 88.9%. About 15% of the participants in this study receive SSI. Other advantages are C2 sign makes visible the smallest units of meaning in the English language which are difficult to hear, e.g., the word boy is signed differently than the word boys. C2 sign parallels spoken and written English and is useful for children who hear speech. C2 signs gives visual access to articles and prepositions and other grammatical parts of the English language. C2 is easy for English-speaking parents and teachers of deaf children to master because they do not have to learn a new grammar. C2 is easier for non-deaf and non-verbal individuals with receptive English language skills, such as those with severe autism, to master. C2 provides support for individuals who utilize cochlear implants, helping them match the C2 handshapes that they see with the hearing and speaking that they utilize. Research The use of signing exact English has been controversial but in 2012 was suggested by Dr. Mark Marshark, editor of Deaf Studies and Deaf Education, as a viable support to listening, speech, English language, and reading in the schools. Some deaf people find C to be difficult to efficiently perceive and produce. Deaf community members born in the 1980s were most often raised on some form of signing and speaking and do so in their adult lives. Because unlike manual forms of English ASL is a naturally evolved language, it is important for children who use C to have opportunities to learn ASL as well. However, it is advocated by some educators as a way of providing deaf children with access to a visual form of the English language. There is research published in the Journal of Deaf Studies in Deaf Education in 2013 to evidence that C serves as the home language for many families although it is technically a system of communication. It allows signers to drop word medial morphemes after they can be both spoken and signed by students. For example, the sign for examination is produced with two signs, exam plus tion. The system assumes that since exemption is not a word in English the observer will fill in the missing parts, and students demonstrate this through their intelligible speech daily in programs where C is used Northwest School for Hearing Impaired Children in the Seattle area. Thus, the C2 user must first be familiar with English in order to discern the correct form. Young children must be taught which signs have incomplete English morphemic representations just as occurs when children learn to read English writing systems, just are incomplete at time but serve a valuable purpose, as does C. Additionally, for use of figurative language, signs must literally translate from spoken English to signed exact English. To learn more about C and its effectiveness, read the most current research available in the two major journals in the field of deaf education. Another argument against C2 is that it may not be the most efficient form of communication. ASL proponents argue that C2 takes the direct communications method of ASL and fills it with prepositions and articles that slow down communication and make it more difficult for the communicative partners to follow along. They believe that C2 may be a tool for teaching English but should be limited to classroom environments. 
Educational controversy in the United States, about two-thirds of teachers who have deaf or hard-of-hearing students instruct with some sort of sign language, either C2, CI, or signed, manual English. The debate is whether C2 benefits children enough to justify its teaching in place of ASL which is only used by 6% of children today. Proponents of C2 demonstrate through research that the system is useful in helping children learn to listen, speak, understand and use English as well as read and write English as do their same age peers. They further claim that C2 can exist as a practical alternative to ASL without hindering the learning of ASL, because it is easier to learn for native verbal English speakers, such as individuals with partial hearing loss or no hearing impairment. Opponents point to the logistical disadvantages of trying to promote the mainstream use of a second signing language, and dispute that C2 offers advantages to warrant educational resources which could be put toward encouraging universal adoption of ASL. See also Total Communication Paget Gorman signed speech cued speech references further reading Gustafson, Jerily, Zawalkow, Estert 1993. Signing Exact English. Modern Signs Press. ISBN 978-0916708238. McDougall, James C. 1988. The Development of the Australasian Signed English System. Australian Teacher of the Deaf, 29-18-36. Appleman, K., Callahan, J., Mayer, M., Lukey, B., and Stryker, D., Spring, 2012. A Comparison of Post-Secondary Measures of Success When Students Are Deaf or Hard of Hearing, American Annals of the Deaf. Volume 157 No. 3, Summer 2012 Lutke, B. Nielsen, D. C. and Stryker, D. 2010. Addressing the Need to Develop Morphemic Awareness en Route to Reading English Proficiently When Students Are Deaf or Hard of Hearing, Documenting, the Unrealized, Empirically Substantiated Use of Signing Exact English. Journal of Deaf Studies and Deaf Education External links http colon slash slash www.handspeak.com slash study slash index dot php question mark it equals 86 silish and resources http colon slash slash www.signingexactenglish.com slash this website is a comprehensive source of information that provides an online dictionary of C signs. You can become a member of this site by paying a fee. This gives you access to an online dictionary and translator of C signs. HTTPS colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two oh one four one one oh nine one seven five nine five one slash http colon slash slash w dot c center dot org slash resources dot html colon the c center is an online source for c training and support. It also provides information about local workshops and testing sites that communicators and their family members can attend.